guys, welcome back to my channel. You can go ahead and welcome me back to my own channel. It's been a little while. I took an accidental break. I'm not doing great. I don't know about you guys, <laughs> but I'm back. And I've got some new makeup that's come in over the past month or so. I have Urban Decay Foundation, Benefit Setting Spray, Gucci Bronzer that I bought for myself. Why not? A new Too Faced Palette, Benefit Setting Spray, lots of stuff. So... Let's go ahead and put it on my face. Also to come, Best in Beauty, Worst in Beauty, uh, Top 10 Foundations, Best skincare, all that good stuff is coming, but let's go ahead and get started. So I'm gonna go ahead and moisturize my face first. I'm using the new Laneige Radiant C Cream. I'm excited about this. I love, love Laneige, love vitamin C products. Um, I actually did film this video yesterday <laughs> and the sound didn't work. So some of these were first impressions. So this is now my second time using a couple of these products. But I will say this has a really great texture. If you tend to like the types of moisturizers that I like, this is a great one. I wouldn't say it's a gel cream, but it's still, it's like a, a cream that has a gel in it, you know, but it's not gel. And it has like this kind of orangey scent, but there's also a little bit of like a herbalness to it, but it feels really good. Now for my primer, I'm going to be using this newish primer from Urban Decay. It's the All Nighter Ultra Glow. So this is a foundation grip primer, but it's for dewy foundation prep and smooths, hydrates, and preps the skin. I was not actually a big fan of their All Nighter Matte Foundation Primer. I found that to be way too typical primer, and it just didn't... Mm, it's not bad. They're actually you know what their other primers were so bad that they came out with in those cylindrical tubes. Do you remember those? Oh man, I think all three of them were kind of a bust. The all-nighter one is good actually. I was kind of getting that confused. That's what I was getting it confused with. The one that comes in the tube like this, I'm pretty sure I like. But the other ones they came out with were not good. And this has that kind of sticky texture to it because it's supposed to. So Urban Decay sent me their new Hydro Maniac Tinted Glow Hydrator. I'm going to have to mix shades today. I will do a full review on this and I'll reach out to them and see if I can get my correct shade. I'll show you the two shades I'm going to use. Because I asked you guys on Instagram if you wanted to see this or the Gucci foundation in use. And I'm going to use both of them. Like I'm going to review both, but just for today's video. So this is 51 medium. And then this is 60 medium dark, if you can tell. So I found yesterday when I mixed them both together, it left me somewhere pretty good. I find 60 is really orange, but 51 is just too light. So I'm somewhere, somewhere in between, even the 50-50 split actually of orange, of orange, <laughs> of 60 and 51 is a little bit too orange. But I will say this does have, I didn't wear it for a long time yesterday because I filmed and then I had to film another video where I had to remove my makeup. So I didn't really get to test this um, tinted moisturizer out for a very long time. So I will keep testing it and report back in a review. And I'm using the e.l.f. Ultimate Blending Brush. I really like this. Gonna need to play around with that a little bit more. I feel like I'm getting some brush marks on my face. It might be that I sort of let it set a little bit before I added more coverage on top and kept trying to blend. This is not a new concealer, just the Too Faced Born This Way. Uh, but I did like it yesterday when I wore it. I do just need to grab my proper shade. I also wanna get my right shade in the Smashbox Tinted Moisturizer that I reviewed during the 12 Days of Foundation. I really quite liked that as well. Definitely into lighter, lighter coverage, lighter feeling makeup. It might also be the primer as well. That's something to keep in mind. Um, I'm going to use this Fenty bronzer. I actually bought this when they launched and <laughs> never used it in a video. This is the Cheeks Out um, Cream Bronzer in Teddy. I actually really want to tr retry their, um, their sticks. I bought the stick when it first came out. Didn't love it. Didn't beat out my <laughs> uh, Wet n Wild stick, but I would like to try it again. I do love cream contour in a stick format. I kind of prefer it over this format. But this brush that I'm using, if you do any cream blush, any cream contour, Flawless Airbrush from Sephora, number 56. This is a holiday 
packaging and the kind of iridescence, but normally I think I think it's part of the normal collection. And it's really good. Good for blending it out, whether it's on a stick or coming from a pot like this one. Good for just foundation application too. It's a really versatile brush. And I don't really have much else like it. I'm gonna set my under eyes with the uh, Laura Mercier Honey Powder. Still love that. I literally hate loose powders, but <laughs> I really like this powder specifically. They're just messier and bigger and annoying, but it's a really good one. So if I'm reaching for a loose powder, that means it's good. If I'm repeatedly reaching for one. Now to set my face, I picked up the Fenty Beauty Soft Matte Powder Foundation. I got this in 320, which is my more updated shade of Fenty. Originally I was wearing shade 310, which I found to be super yellow. This one's a little bit more neutral. Uh, I only used this yesterday, so I still have to keep testing it out. I will definitely review it um, as a powder foundation, but yesterday it did a good job setting my face. Uh, let me know. If you have picked this up, are you excited about it? I'm definitely excited about it. I think you can see it does a good job mattifying and making things look really kind of smooth. Packaging is like a little bit bulky. It has like the touch up thing underneath it, which I pre no, I don't appreciate it. I don't appreciate it actually. I've just decided to <laughs> change my mind. So let me go ahead and bring you in for the eyes. Ignore my eyebrows, okay? We are in lockdown day 727, it feels like. <laughs> so my eyebrows have not been done. Using a new palette from Too Faced, they launched four palettes, and I did not grab for the warm, rusty one, so you're welcome. Way to go, me. <laughs> this is the Too Faced That's My Jam, which is something that I say often. If you're a friend of mine or if we've chatted in DMs, um, that's a phrase I use all the time, but I thought this was really interesting shade, so let's go ahead and move you in. So I put down a little bit of the Too Faced primer. Now I'm going to grab this shade right here. These palettes are cute. Um, I don't know, this palette really excites me. It really excites me when a palette comes out that has, like obviously I see warm rusty shades, it looks gorgeous, I want to buy it, I want to put it on my face. But when I see a palette like this, this excites me in a way that I'm like, I want to play with that. That's a combination of shades that feels approachable but exciting. I know you, I've kind of talked about this before about other palettes, but like Urban Decay Born to Run, the NYX Modern Dreamers, there's a couple of palettes that I just think are really unique but like approachable, which is hard. Because there's, I mean, you know, and I say unique, not to say that this hasn't ever existed in some way, shape, or form, or it's similar, or maybe even dupable, but it's not like these brands are going to stop coming out with makeup just because they feel like we've bought it all, you know? We're going to keep buying it, let's be honest. So I'm going to take this deeper shade here. Um, but it's just nice. And it feels like there's some effort, and these shades feel really good. This purple is going on like a dream. I'm actually quote unquote glad I had to refilm this video because I forgot I had these palettes. So I had actually reached for like an older ColourPop palette just to make use of it for the get ready with me that I filmed yesterday. But now I'm redoing it with um, this palette because I was kicking myself I found it after the fact. I have to confess something to you though, guys. I have been decluttering and I haven't been filming it. I don't even know why I'm outing myself here, but I just have to tell you. So here's the story. I've been on YouTube for eight years, nine years this November, <laughs> and I've been collecting makeup for that long. So I have a disgusting amount of makeup. Because my channel is the way it is, and I do like best of this, worst of that, comparing this, drugstore this, high end this, peaches, reds, pinks, I need to have a lot more makeup than I personally want because this is my job. So it's almost like inventory, you know, like I need to keep things in stock to be able to do the type of content I do that's helpful to you for comparisons, um, best of, worst of, that kind of stuff. So anyways, it's gotten to a point where it's just so out of control, adding in, a, oh, I wanted to use this lavender. I'm going to grab this lavender and see where, see if it shows up. But, um, but I have so much makeup now that like, you know, I don't live in a big apartment. And it gets to a point where it's like you have so much that it doesn't even, like I can't make use of all of it. 
But the reason I haven't decluttered anything is because I feel guilty decluttering. But then the reason I don't de like decluttering without you guys watching. But then the reason I don't film it is because it takes a lifetime. So then things have just been piling up for years. So over the holidays, I took that time to start going through my entire makeup collection. I have so much expired, so much old um, stuff that... Like, I did a bunch of giveaways over the holidays. This is the lavender shade. Any of you like some of it, there's a global pandemic along with a whole host of other issues in the world. I am not concerned about you decluttering, but these are the things that go on in my mind. <laughs> so I'm gonna tell you. Oh, there's so many beautiful sparkly shades to use. I really wanna go with this, but I feel like maybe I should go with this because it's different. Yeah. Oh, these have names. This is Violet Femmes. And I did put down, ooh, some concealer, some more concealer for it to stick to. Oh, that's pretty. That's really shifty in a good way. <laughs> I ended up putting that pretty much all over my lids. <laughs> um, I feel like my makeup looks cakey, super cakey. I can't tell if it's the primer or what. Up close, it looks cakey which it should not, considering I have like a tinted moisturizer on. This is the new Bite Beauty Upswing Mascara. I gotta say, this mascara is a little bit messy. I feel like this brush is like, I don't know. I described it yesterday, like I don't mind a big brush, but I find like it's almost like I can't really get my lashes, like the bristles are too close together, like I can't get my lashes in there to get them all coated, so I need to work a little bit harder. But the end result is really good. It's got a nice like, you know, if a product is going to make me work for it a little bit, it's got to be worth it. I have some pretty good black lashes. Let me know if you have tried this. I've seen great reviews. I always love Bites lip products. They do an incredible job with the formula, with the colors, foundation. You'll see that in an upcoming video. <laughs> but yeah, so far so good with this mascara. So last week I was on the Sephora website looking at the what's new section to see if there's any new foundations I needed to review. I was actually primarily going to buy the Fenty foundation and then I also bought the Gucci foundation. So I will review all three of those. Um, but while I was on the website I was like wow that Gucci bronzer is beautiful. I love the packaging. I mostly want it for that. So I put it in my cart and then I was like it's $88 and then I was like already in my car so <laughs> my friend Aisha really loved this so I was like you know okay I got in the shade four do I need a four uh forty dollar <laughs> I don't need a forty dollar bronzer I definitely don't need an eighty dollar bronzer <laughs> but I will say it's really nice blends like a dream it does have a little bit of a it's a little bit scented but if you're looking for something luxe this is it and it goes quite deep which is important and not often the case with luxury makeup. I don't know, I started buying more luxury makeup in the past year. I feel like I'm looking greasy. I don't know if it's that primer or what it is because I'm not that oily and I don't feel like I have a sweaty face going on right now. This is the uh, NYX Bear With Me eyebrow gel. I like it. They actually just came out with, I saw on Instagram the other day, a new eyebrow gel that I'm dying to try. It's called like glue something. The skin looks pretty glowy considering I have no highlighter on, right? I don't complain about being greasy, but I'm talking about like here. I'm a human, okay? I'm going to contradict myself all the time. <laughs> That's just who we are. For my blush, I'm going to use actually a Quo bronzer in the shade Natural Tan. I really like this. I've done a bunch of videos on Quo Beauty's new stuff. Love their foundation. Huge, oh, huge fan of their liquidy cream blushes. Big fan of these too. Lots of great stuff. If you haven't been into a shoppers physically, 
recently. For my highlighter, I'm going to grab this one from Charlotte Tilbury. In yesterday's video, I'd actually used this one, but I didn't love it. It's the RMS Luminizing Powder. I got it as a Sephora sample, but it's a little bit too white frosty for me. So I'm going to pass on it for today. This one is a little bit better. Or no, it's not a little better. I really love this one <laughs> from Charlotte Tilbury. Uh, but for my lipstick today, I actually have kind of a throwback. Um, let me tell you about it. As I use the Professional Super Setter Long Lasting Makeup Setting Spray, this like launched out of nowhere. Really, really light mist, like incredibly light, which I like. I would prefer. But I was cleaning out all of my lipsticks. I have a bajillion and four lipsticks <laughs> and I've started what I've dubbed my makeup museum and I've done a, I did a video on this a while back where I talked about meaningful makeup to me but I've actually now created a physical makeup museum and by created a physical makeup museum I mean put these things in a box that I marked on with a sharpie makeup museum but if you'd like me to go through that box and show you like products that are special to me because they were a gift, because they I bought them at a significant time, because it's a color I used to wear nonstop. There's a bunch of that kind of stuff in there. If you'd like to let like if you'd like to pick through that with me, let me know. But I did find a new unopened Mega Last lip color from Wet n Wild, so in the shade Just Peachy, which was one of my favorites. So I'm gonna pop on this ColourPop lip liner and this lipstick was my favorite, still great. So here is the finished look. I hope you enjoyed this video. I will definitely be sure to review those three foundations that I mentioned. Let me know down below if you'd like to see looks with the other Too Faced palettes. I debated a four palettes, four looks, but then I was kind of like, do we care about this right now? I don't know. Let me know, I guess. I can. I haven't done one of those in a while. Um, but thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to connect with me, you can find me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook at Samantha Jane YT, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!